What's good, my beautiful kings and queens? It's I, Winnie Brits, your favorite British locked YouTuber. I hope you're all doing amazingly well, especially during this quarantine. I must say, yeah, whew, slightly got me feeling a little bit demotivated. Um, I wasn't even expecting to film right about now. It's just that I quickly did a light beat, got dressed and was like, you know what? I've run out of some food and stuff. So I'm gonna pop down to my local Tesco's and see what they've got in stock. And then I thought, you know what? Why not just use this opportunity to film a quick little video? So yeah, literally, as you can see by the title, I'm gonna show you guys how I currently moisturize my locks. I've currently got lock knots on, on? My lock style is lock knots. Okay, hopefully that makes sense, guys. Bear with me, bear with me. Um, at the minute, it's looking very, very flat because I just took my head wrap off. But literally, um, whether you've got your hair in a style or not, what I like to do is I like to use a little bit of oil. So I'm gonna use my usual sweet almond oil that I've been using for a couple of months, literally a little bottle. And I just literally like to just pour a little bit of oil into oh, well, i say a little bit but more or less an amount that i think oh, can't even show you guys but more or less a reasonable amount that i think would be suitable for my hair hold on i should have got a mirror one sec so literally i just like to use a finger dab it into the oil and then i just well i like to start off with my hairline just use a little because when you're oiling your scalp if you do oil your scalp i don't see why you need to be ignoring your edges your edges need love too um and literally i just like to go all over my scalp with a little bit of oil i try not to use too much because if this is the first time that you're watching a video of mine basically um recently should i say recently but a couple months ago i noticed that i was starting to experience a lot of irritation with oils so i had changed basically i had tried a variety of different oils and my scalp just wasn't having it so for a short period of time i stopped using oils altogether um just to give my scalp a bit of a breather because you know what we also need to remember that our scalp also produces its own natural oils anyway. So when I did that, I then thought, okay, cool. I did feel like my scalp was becoming like super duper dry because obviously I was no longer um, adding any oils to it. So I kind of had to think to myself like, okay, what oil have I not tried? Because I've tried various oils, like I've tried coconut oil, castor oil, neem oil, black seed oil, avocado oil. I've tried a lot of oils, probably some that probably won't come to my mind, but on my lock journey, I've tried a lot, a lot of oils. This summer, my I would have had my locks for nine years this summer. I'm not even keeping track anymore, to be honest. I'm literally just taking each day as it comes, but yeah so then i was reading about you know different oils and stuff and then sweet almond oil i thought to myself i haven't tried sweet almond oil and i also noticed that one of my lock crushes not locks hopefully you lot know who she is but she was saying that she uses sweet almond oil alongside other things to moisturize her lock and her scalp so i thought you know what why not give it a try and basically see how it fares right I do sometimes like to just go over just to double check and just to make sure that I've used um, all the oil in my palms sometimes depending you know what yeah I really hate one thing that I hate about locks is just how things get trapped into your locks. Like I'm looking in, in the mirror and I can see there's like little white kind of fluff stuff in my hair. Um, yeah, and because of that, one thing that I try to not do is oil my actual locks. Um, on the rare occasion when I have a little bit left, like I might just do that and just, just to spruce up my locks a little bit. But generally speaking, I don't like to oil my actual locks. So... Once that is done, just making sure that it's not like... You know sometimes when you oil your scalp, you just see like a whole load of oil in one spot? We're trying to avoid that. So I do just like to kind of 
go over it and just almost like massage it in with this short hairstyle that I have sometimes I do like to just give a nice little nice little massage sometimes not all the time great so you know already you guys can see my style is now coming alive so normally when that's done um like i said rarely will i use the sweet almond oil or any oil on my actual locks so normally when that's done i then like to feed my actual locks so this is basically a spray bottle full of rose water and yeah i literally just like to go over and just spritz my locks and yeah that's literally all i do to my locks in regards to moisturizing my locks if you're an oldie um and you've been rocking me for a long time you'll kind of know that essentially nothing's really changed from how i used to moisturize my looks before it's just that i'm now using a new oil and i think years ago when i did do a lock moisturizing routine i can't remember if i did put coconut oil in my actual locks or not like i said i no longer do that if i just have excess in my hands then i will just pat my locks um but oh gosh you know what i really i'm just looking at the monitor in case it looks weird and the monitor is like right above my camera Mm, i just really love this short hairstyle you guys like let me know your thoughts your feelings on this look but literally one thing that i have noticed i feel like i may be repeating myself for those of you that do watch the majority of my videos but i feel like on camera my hair looks very deep black but when i'm looking in my mirror i can see that my hair naturally has a lot of brown streaks in it so i'm just finding it like i keep looking up and i'm like why does my head look look so dark which would explain why i keep being asked oh do you have you dyed your hair recently i haven't dyed my hair recently guys i actually have no intentions of dyeing my locks anytime soon but yeah guys that's literally how i moisturize my locks i just use two products and that is my oil and rose water and that's it for me like i keep saying in a lot of my videos i like to keep things simple i have a very sensitive scalp so i don't like to do too much i don't like to bombard my scalp with a lot of products and obviously when you have locks and you're using a lot of products it does equal to build up and that's what we are trying to avoid not to mention but just like you know at various points of this video where you see me like notice that there's lint or something in my locks in general i feel like when you have locks lint is unavoidable you can do things to limit the amount of lint that gets trapped into your locks however it's unavoidable but one of the ways to reduce those chances is by not using too much products in your locks to not use overly thick and sticky oils in your locks as well like castor oil i noticed that before when i was using castor oil although yes it promotes thick hair growth it did it really helped as well when i was trying to thicken out my edges i did notice that it's too thick so it really aggravated my dandruff and not only that but it was so easy for dust and lint and stuff to just get stuck because of how sticky the oil is but yeah just for i'd make this short and sweet video even though i'm feeling a little demotivated because it's just so oh, during this period in time guys but yeah let me know in the comment section below how you moisturize your locks what works for you i would really love to know i hope you enjoyed this video and until my next one take care be good see ya